After our short overview of the simple linear regression, we can proceed to the multiple linear regression. Since you are already familiar with the related theory, let's just load another well-known data set and get our hands dirty right away. The data is located in the multiple linear regression CSV file. Let's load it in a new variable called data and display the top five rows. There are two input features, SAT score and RAND123, while the dependent variable is GPA. We can further use the data.describe method to get a better idea of what we are dealing with. Okay, we already know that the SAT score is a good predictor of GPA, both from last section and the simple linear regression with sklearn we created. RAND123 was a variable which randomly assigned 1, 2, or 3 to each sample. Here, it is helpful to note that sample is the machine learning word for observation. When doing ML, you may often hear practitioners referring to a data set with a sample size of 84 as having 84 observations, or 84 samples. All right, let's create the regression. First, we must declare the independent and dependent variables. This time, X will contain the SAT score and the RAND123 variable. Once again, Y will be the GPA. Regarding the syntax of the linear regression, there won't be any surprises. We start by declaring reg as an instance of the linear regression class. So, reg equals linear regression, one word with capital L and R. Next, we must fit the regression. The syntax is the same as with a simple linear regression. reg fit x y. Once we run this cell, the whole machine learning will be completed. Notice that the cell executed without an error and we did not need to reshape the inputs. As we mentioned before, sklearn is optimized for multiple linear regression, and impressively so. We needed no more than two lines of code to create a machine learning model. Fantastic! Now we are only left with interpreting the result. To help us with that, we will display the coefficients and intercept of our model. Reg coef underscore displays an array with two elements, the coefficient of the SAT score and the coefficient of the RAND123 variable. They are ordered in the way we fed them. Scrolling up a bit, we realize that 0.0017 corresponds to the SAT score, while minus 0.0083 to RAND123. Great! What about the intercept? Reg.intercept shows us that the intercept of this model is 0.296. By comparing these results with the stats model summary, we confirm that the two packages yield identical results. Great! Let's wrap it up here and discuss the R squared in the next lecture. Thanks for watching!